Hi guys, it's Lauren. Um, I decided to make a YouTube channel just because why not? I have a ton of time on my hands and you know, you never know what can happen. I'm doing communications now. I just recently switched from biomedicine and I think that with resourcing and my Instagram and Snapchat and whatever, I can make a lot of connections through whatever I have to say. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you know. Let's cut to the chase. Number one is that I love swimming. I've always been super into swimming ever since I was younger. I mean, when I was really young, I used to pretend to drown and I don't know why I would do that, but I would literally go to like the wave parks and just, and just like watch the lifeguards like, oh my God. and now that I'm a lifeguard and I see kids do that, it's like so triggering. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. am I going in? Uh, uh, I'm going in. Um, actually reminds me of the time that I had to like sort of save a kid and I jumped in and got to the top and the kid was fine the mom started yelling at me it was a great time number two is that I love traveling I've always been really big into traveling no matter where I'm going even if it's across state lines and being in a new environment where you don't know what's gonna happen you're not a hundred percent sure of your like surroundings it's just nice I don't know, to take a chance every now and then. I just love change and I love challenging myself to meet new people, try new things. Never thought I would try escargot because I was so like nervous about eating snails, but I went to the Culinary Institute of America with my dad a couple of years ago and he ordered it and was like, try it, it's lamb. I don't like lamb, but I tried it thinking it was lamb and it was escargot and it was so fire. So then, I ended up going to Paris, I think two winters ago, and literally every single time I could get escargot, I was like, oh, escargot, por favor. Number three is that I love singing. I've always been really into singing. No one ever like expects this from me, whether it's in my car, in my shower. Number four is that I can eat anything, and this goes back based off of the escargot story. I feel like opening my palate and trying new things, like whether it be escargot or lamb, sorry lamb, be wherever you are, um, that it really has helped me to define what I like and what flavors and textures I like and don't. Like jello. I can't eat jello, guys. So yeah, Jello, I definitely can't eat, but I've tried so many things within the past year, especially with traveling, that I never thought I would and I ended up really liking. So whenever you go into a new country or anything, always keep your mind open to new experiences because that cow tongue might be the next best thing. <laughs> or might not be, but you know, you never know until you try. <laughs> Number five is that I used to act a lot as a kid. Number six is my favorite movies. Currently, my favorite movies is anything action, thriller. I love James Bond, all of them. I love GoldenEye. Um, GoldenEye? Is it GoldenEye or is it... Why do I think it's Goldfinch? It's not Goldfinch. Goldfinger. Is it gold? Oh, it's Goldfinger. Is it Goldfinger? The girl gets painted gold and it's just a mess. Complete mess. My boy Daniel Craig, I used to call him Lemon. I used to call him Lemonhead when I was younger because I just hated him and he wasn't, um, what's his name? Pierce Brosnan. Number seven is that yellow is my favorite color. I really just feel like the color yellow is just a fun color, why not? I mean, I know it's the color of pee and it's the color of kumquats, maybe. Uh, is it the color kumquats? I've never seen a kumquat before. Cum quat. <gasps> hey, it is the color. But I was like, gabulous, kinda. Well, it's more of an orangey yellow, but you get the point. So number eight, my favorite music is rock and alternative. Number nine, I grew up in the suburbs outside of New York City. Um, and it was kind of weird just because I hear people that are like, oh, like my school district had a thousand people. I'm like, oh, my school district had a 400. It's definitely different than the city. And my sister went to school in the city. Her whole experience, high school wise, middle school wise, all of that was completely different. Um, so it's nice seeing both sides, but it's also like suburbs. Ugh. So number 10 is my biggest fears. One of my biggest fears has always been the zombie apocalypse and don't even at me, imagine this. 
imagine. You come home from school, ah, I'm tired, I'm not gonna do my homework, Merp. Literally, your mother's eating your father's face. What are you gonna do? You have no gun, you have no weapons, everyone's eating each other. Oh my god, <sighs> I'm getting all like <sighs> anxious now. Anyways, my other biggest fear is roller coasters, and I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, just get over it, it's not that scary. Tried getting over it two weeks ago, went on this tiny little puny ride. I was like, oh yeah, what? I'm good, I got this, I got this, because you know, I have to be big, head honcho, whatever. Get on the ride, literally started crying the second I was on the ride. Didn't stop crying until I was off. So, number 12 is that I'm a transfer, and it's really weird, because I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but I was actually at Roger Williams University in Bristol, Rhode Island my first semester, and then transferred to SUNY Cortland, and yeah, the difference is crazy. I mean, even going from Rhode Island to New York, obviously I live in New York, so I've grown up with people in this lingo, but I would hear like this crazy lingo all the time and I feel like people were just different and it just wasn't my environment. And it's not even about like the people, it was a lot of problems with the school and stuff, but I ended up transferring to Cortland. I mean, I love this school. I'm so happy with my decision. Number 13 is that I'm really flexible. And after I busted my knee in swimming, um, my doctor actually told me that I have hyperflexive joints, which means that I can literally dislocate my joints to like move them hyper flexibly. Number 14 is that I have six piercings and one tattoo. No one ever thinks I have a tattoo. I mean, like, not to brag about my tattoo because it's tiny, but... It's a woman's sign because I'm a feminist, so it's pretty cool. And then I have um, my nose piercing, which I got done with my friend Jill, who transferred last semester. Miss you if you're watching. And basically, I was gonna get my date done with her, and then I was like, maybe I'll get my tragus. And then I was like, nope, I'm getting my nose pierced. It was bleeding everywhere. Um, and I'm just really surprised I didn't pass out because my first piercings, these, these piercings were done um, by my mom with a needle or by my grandma with a needle. Latina probs and then these were done at like a regular place just hurt with a gun and then this was done with my friend at Allie and the guy just stuck the needle through and then she goes girl you got a needle going through your ear so I like looked in the mirror because we were in like a full mirror room and I looked in the mirror and I was like <gasps> completely started hyperventilating almost fainted the guy was like are you good I was like yeah I'm good I'm I'm fine, don't worry. Got up to leave, almost fainted like five times, made it to the car, guys. I made it to the car. So number 15, my favorite drink is kombucha. I recommend if you're gonna get kombucha, um, it's called Living G GTS Foods, um, organic raw. The multigreen is flames. It looks like this, and it has like a cute, all of them have cute quotes on the back. This one says, don't lose your capacity to create joy for yourself stay creative making a youtube channel anyways um <laughs> number 16 is my biggest pet peeve um i feel like people that don't know me have this like pre-judgment about who i am and what i believe in and i don't i really don't know I, people just also could be because i have rbf and people see me and i'm just like And they're like, oh, that girl, eh. I'm like, bro, I am sorry. My mother's sorry. I'm sorry that my face looks like this. It's my face. So my biggest pet peeve is when people have a problem with me for no reason. I get zero. Exactly. So therefore your comment is irrelevant. So what are I have like an eyelash in my eye. Number 17 is that I'm a communications major. With communications, my biggest goal would be to have like some sort of, well, work in broadcasting, some sort of like, I don't know if I'd wanna like be um, on radio, but I would definitely prefer to have like some sort of television series. Number 18 is that I love to cook. I've always been like, 
really into cooking, whether it was pastries, dinner, whatever. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Um, and I actually took a few cooking courses. I took one with Wilton, and then I took a few, um, I took one pastry course in Paris, and it was just absolutely amazing. We made creme brulee, madeleines, everything. Um, so yeah, it's always been a passion of mine. For number 19, um, it's my favorite vacation memory. So over the summer, me, my sister, Victoria, and our mom went on a cruise around the Mediterranean and we went to Greece, Croatia, whatever. Um, and on the cruise, I saw this guy that looked exactly like Ronnie Magro and I told him, I was like, oh my God, like you look like Ronnie Magro. So we ended up meeting on like later and then there was um, this cowboy named Quinn and I guess they were friends previously, but me and Quinn like had met each other earlier and he was 17, the cowboy, I mean, the cowboy was 17. The um, Ronnie Magro was like 30. He said he was like an ELS um, teacher, whatever. Really, it was like fine. I didn't think anything of it. And then we ended up like going out. Number 20 is the craziest thing I've ever done. I went to Spain for a biomedicine shadowing trip um, last December, I think, and it was a lot of fun. I met a lot of great people, but it was like a nine hour journey to actually get there. And the whole time I just didn't understand what anyone was saying. Like, I'm not, I thought I was proficient in Spanish. Guess not, because I was so lost. I was like, you know, I hope they don't just miss my stop and I'm just gonna end up in Montenegro. Number 22 is that I've been to five concerts. Um, Anne and Alec, Avril Lavigne, where she swallowed a moth and kept singing, preach, and then got ball three times. But the third time I wouldn't even count because the strokes didn't go on, it was a mess. I ended up having to carry both of my friends through the pouring rain, screaming and crying <laughs> because it was just so crazy. People were rioting at Randall's Island. Absolutely a mess. All I wanted to see was my favorite band, but I guess not. Number 23 is that I'm a Gemini. Number 24, I've always wanted to learn how to play the drums. I've never really gotten the chance to just because drum sets are so expensive and stuff and it's a lot of time. I mean, I used to play the violin for a hot sack and then I just forgot about it, but I think that it's because I'm into rock music that playing the drums fascinates me, but yeah, so. Those are 25 things that I thought my new viewers should see. I'm really happy that you guys stuck around.